One of the biggest questions that I get asked is how to get started in FPV. And honestly, I'm about to give you an answer that you're probably not gonna like. The best way to get started into FPV is by starting off with a simulator. And I know it's not glamorous and it's not probably what you wanted to hear me say, but if you want to actually be able to fly drones well, this is what you need to do. See, because the biggest thing about a simulator is that you can crash and crash and crash and crash and you don't have to pay any money. Whereas every single time I crash one of my drones, I have to pay for parts to fix it. And then I also have to have the knowledge to fix it. So if I can mitigate that by learning how to fly on a simulator, then it makes my life a million times easier and it'll make yours easier as well. So then you're asking, well, what do I need in order to do a simulator? Well, you need a computer, you need the program, and then you need an FPV drone controller. You don't have to have a controller, but it definitely helps. For the computer, I don't really know what to tell you. I have a MacBook Pro that I use for editing and these softwares work just fine on it. The simulators that I would suggest that are the best are Velocidrone and Trip FPV. Velocidrone, in my opinion, has the best physics on it and it's gonna help you learn way faster. It's got the most features. It's got all the maps. And then there's Trip FPV. And Trip FPV is a fantastic FPV simulator. The graphics are absolutely beautiful and they're adding more to it every single month. As for the drone controller, you can either start off cheap and get like a $50 drone controller, or you can get the drone controller that is going to last you for a long time. For instance, myself, I bought the TBS Tango 2, and that is the only drone controller that I have used. I bought it with just the simulator, and now I use it on all of my drones. If you don't want to use a drone controller, you don't have to. You can use a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, but the issue with that is the sticks are not going to be the same as a drone controller. And once you've spent a bunch of time in the simulator and you're confident in it, then it's time for you to go and buy your first drone.